Exciting times here on News Now from Fox, and that's because we have a live report from Doug Luzader. Doug, good morning. We air your reports all the time here on the show, and now we are talking the electoral college count this morning. How are you doing? Hey, good morning. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a big day here. Boy, we're waiting for the results from Georgia to come in, and also what's going on on Capitol Hill, uh, which, may, which may take a while. I mean, normally this is just kind of a footnote. It goes pretty quickly. It's, it's almost kind of a rubber stamp that Congress does, typically just kind of going over the Electoral College results. It, this time, though, we're going to see a number of challenges. And even though that is not likely to change the outcome, it's certainly going to make for a very long day, maybe a long couple of days on Capitol Hill. Now, what is Vice President Mike Pence's role in all of this? Well, that's a good question, and that's kind of up for debate right now. I think most people see that as just kind of a ceremonial role, you know, in addition to being a vice president, uh, the, the, the VP also serves as the official president of the Senate. Um, so in that role, uh, Pence will oversee kind of the entire process. But, you know, beyond just kind of gaveling in and out, uh, what does that really entail? Generally, not much. Um, does he have the ability to, you know, revoke some of these state numbers or draw them into question. I think the president certainly thinks so. Uh, what does Pence think about all of this? There was a report in the New York Times that, that Pence does not see a very active role for himself today. Uh, the president is disputing that. So we're going to have to see exactly what Pence does. I mean, you know, Pence is a guy that was in Congress for a while. I think he's seen as something of an institutionalist. So we, we, we're just going to have to watch uh, to see what happens on Capitol Hill. What, what we do know is that a number of Republicans are likely uh, to challenge some of these state results, probably starting uh, with the state of Arizona. Once Congress counts the votes, what's next? Uh, well, that's, you know, then the inauguration. I mean, that, that would be the next step in the process once Congress certifies uh, certifies the uh, electoral college count. All right, that is exactly two weeks today. So Fox News uh, reporter Douglas Zader, thank yep. you so much for joining us here on News Now from Fox. Thanks so much. All right, everybody, we are taking a live look at the White House in Washington, D.C. Lots of activity expected in our nation's capital today. We'll have it all for you right